I'm delighted to be joined by West Brom reporter Mr. Joe Massey. Uh, Joe, Everton 5, West Brom 2. Uh, but it doesn't tell the full story, does it? It doesn't tell the full story at all. Um, it's an absolute bonkers game of football. I can't, I can't actually explain how I feel sat here now. I feel 50% sort of angry um, and disappointed and 50% really enthused and excited, mm. um, which is actually better than I felt after Leicester, um, which, is, <laughs> which is really, really odd. But I mean, I don't, I don't even know where we start um, for this video. Well, let's, look- let's, let's start, let's start, let's start. Unchanged team, Savin Bilic. Um, so, so showed faith in, in, in the team that they got beat by Leicester. And what a start it was. I mean, that is a stunning strike by a, a fantastic player. West Ham, West Ham fuming, West Ham fans on Twitter going mental. We thought Mark Noble would be trending again after Dean Garland. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, what a fantastic... 3-4-3, three, three, as you said. Bilic kept faith with a team that played against Leicester. And he said after that game, he reiterated it in the week as well, that he was happy with the performance for an hour against Leicester. It was only when that second goal went in and Albin's players sort of physically lost belief that he was disappointed. So it wasn't a surprise um, to see him sort of stick to the same system today. And for the first half, they were outstanding. They were absolutely outstanding. And they took the lead after 10 minutes through Dean Garner. I mean, it's an absolutely fantastic goal. Lovely little pass for... Um, from Pereira to send him on mm. his way and then he's in his own half Dean Garner and he runs he and he runs, runs and he runns um, and then he absolutely lashes one in from 20 yards and it's no more than Albion deserved and mm. they were so front footed today look they were they, they looked solid really in that first half against Leicester but they didn't really carry much of an attacking threat but they did here today they were very very aggressive very very front footed very very exciting going forward particularly mm. down the left side Callum Robinson sort of naturally drifts that way anyway. Um, and Kieran Gibbs, Kieran Gibbs, um, and Grady Dean Garner and him were combining really, really well. Mm. Um, and they were getting a lot of joy. And there's a moment, Jake Livermore, he hits the post from a Darnell Furlong cross at 1 0. He's a whisker away from 2 0. It's so mm. close. Um, and you sat there thinking, could that come back? Could that come back to bite us? But. They're playing really, really well. They're really taking the game to Everton without a shadow of a doubt, the better team. And it's just past the half hour mark that Everton and Paul level. And it's a really, really, really frustrating goal um, mm. to concede in terms of VAR. So the ball's come in, Richarlison's headed it towards goal. Dominic Calvert Lewin is offside, he back heels it in, flag goes up, immediately yeah. given as offside. So it then turns out after a, a fairly, fairly long delay. Um, through VAR while well, they watched it and watched it and watched it again and the ball was actually come off Richarlison's header has come off Darnell Furlong putting mm-hmm. Calvert-Lewin onside um, now it, fair enough in that instance the, ga- the goal's given but Bilic has just stressed post-match that he feels Furlong was fouled and he okay. feels the VAR officials haven't looked at that they've looked at whether the ball's come off Darnell Furlong, but they've not mm. looked at why Darnell Furlong is effectively in his body shape is to head towards his own goal. And okay. Bilic is saying that is because he is being fouled. Um, so he is immensely, immensely frustrated that that goal has been given. He thinks essentially that the VAR officials were looking at the wrong, the wrong thing um, mm. in that goal. Look, when I watch football, when I watch VAR, I think the vast majority of times we see it is where goals get disallowed. Yeah. It almost it takes away goals, close goals, sure, more sure. often than not. You see these sort of hairline fracture offside decisions mm. and stuff, and mm. it tends to be goals aren't given. Whereas today, Everton, I think it's a stroke of luck. I, I really, really do. I know it's VAR, I know it's technology, but I think they're a touch fortunate to get that goal, Everton, today. And it was completely against the run of play. Um, and then. And then, and then, look, James Rodriguez, we all know about him. We all know what a wonderful yeah. player he is. He fires one in on the stroke of half time from 25 yards. It's a fabulous goal. Mm-hmm. It's ex-Real Madrid. It's Premier League, isn't it? That's, that's what happens at this level, unfortunately. Um, but it's after, that, it's after that where that, this game essentially is decided. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you, you can certainly, certainly make that case. So, James Rodriguez has then, and immediately after kickoff, he's, he's left one in on Kieran Gibbs. With his arm, he sort of left one in, challenged mm. him late. And look, it happens in football, it happens everywhere. Look, you've got to be man enough to deal with that if you're going to be a professional mm. footballer as far as I'm concerned. K- Kieran Gibbs has turned around and shoved him in the face for what is, without a shadow of a doubt, a red card. Um, and in the blink of an eye, Albion have gone from being the, the brighter team in that first half to being 2-1 yeah. down with a man down. Um 
Bilic was furious. He's, he's, he's angry that Gibbs has obviously shoved him in the face. He thinks mm-hmm. that Gibbs, if he was smart, Gibbs would have gone mm-hmm. down when Rodriguez shoved him. Yeah. He thinks if he had done that, it would have been a yellow card for Rodriguez and obviously, yeah. therefore, not a red card for Kieran Gibbs. Sure, sure. Bilic, obviously, still angry with the... Um, the VAR, the VAR and, then the and then the sending off. He's had a word with the referee at half time. Bilic just said in his post, he said, look, he didn't swear. He's angry with that decision for the VAR. He feels, as a manager, he has got the right to go over and speak to an official. And he mm. reiterated that he didn't swear. And he feels it was wrong that Mike Dean then... Put I said, a red there's, a, there's officials and then there's Mike Dean as well. You've got to kind of take that into consideration as well. So it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because we know what he's like. And that's probably, that's the heat of the battle, isn't it? That's when, look, they do their research, they do their analysis and absolutely everything. Every, they'll know that. But it mm. will know that Mike Dean is pretty mm. partial to a red card. Mm. But in the heat of the moment, when you've just watched your team be be, be, be fantastic for 45 minutes, um, mm. and then they're suddenly, they've lost the game, haven't they? Let's be, they've, they've lost the game in that moment. It had gone. Um, you sit there with hope and stuff. But, yeah, so just uh, absolutely, truly remarkable first half. And, 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 then, and then, boom... Down to ten men and, and equalised through an absolutely stunning free kick. Um, and it's as good as free kick as you'll see um, from Mateus Pereira. Literally after the restart, he gets it up over the ball, he gets it back down again, top corner. Jordan mm. Pickford, absolutely no chance. Twenty-five yards. It's an absolute fabulous strike. And you just thought, can mm. they? Can they hold can on they? here? Can they hold on and, and take what would be a, a, a remarkable point, really? Um, but they couldn't. And this is where sort of Billich's frustrations then come in. Very much his attitude post-match was, I'm frustrated with the officials, I'm frustrated with my own team's defending. Mm-hmm. Albion have conceded two goals from set pieces. One yeah. from a free kick, one from a corner. Bilic absolutely furious about that. He says they've only got themselves to blame for that. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't seen them again, so I can't really put in the individuals um, for who was at fault for those, but... Very, very disappointed, obviously. He said, I mean, Bilic said, look, in the Championship, a lot of teams, their bread and butter is set pieces. He actually said, we face teams in the Championship who are much better at set pieces than Everton are. So, mm. to concede two today is, is a real kick in the teeth. Um, and obviously, um, um, Everton got another one through Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin hat-trick today um, for Everton. So, I mean, it's it's bizarre. It's it come away a little bit shell-shocked, but you... You can't not be infused by that thir- mm. first half. They they really were good. They really were good in that first half. Um, and and Bilic said after Leicester they've got to stretch these performances out. Good first half against Leicester. They've got to stretch that mm. over ninety minutes. You can't really say the same today. They were better today. They were better yeah. in the first half today yeah. than they were against Leicester. But they can't. You can't. They can't be guilty of not stretching it out really when they yeah. had ten men um, and their backs were completely against the wall. But in the cold light of day, you know, you, you, I've been going back home tonight. They've played two, they've lost two, they've conceded nine. Uh, they're going to Chelsea. I mean, it's a very daunting start to the season, isn't it? I mean, there, there needs to be players that need to come in, Joe, obviously. But at the front, but do you feel at like the back as well? Obviously, Branislav Ivanovic is going to help things help things out. Is that is is he going to be able to solve the, the, the defensive frailties at this moment in time? We'd like to, you would like to think so, to be honest. I mean... Bilic is overjoyed to get Ivanovic. We know what he was fantastic for Zenit last season. He was obviously amazing for Chelsea. Won everything there is to win there. But look, there's no doubt about it. They, they do need they do need to improve at the back, don't they? And I think I think Ivanovic will be a big addition now. I think it's looking. We're starting to see just what a crucial addition it is. He's still a couple of weeks away. Um, but look, Bilic also look, he's absolutely adamant he wants Philip Kravinovic. He made that abundantly clear at his press conference on Thursday. Also, he's adamant he wants a striker. I think all Albion fans know they need a striker. I've got to say, I do think Callum Robinson was really good up there um, in the mm. first half today. He's, he's definitely grown into that role. But they need his additions, of course they do. Of course they do. But look, look, Chelsea's it, Chelsea's going to be obviously it's going to be immensely tough. It's immensely tough. It's not it's not too extreme to say. Albion season starts at Southampton the week after next. Agreed, agreed. Yeah, um, of course. It's not nice. It's not nice. Not nice to lose to Leicester. It's not nice to lose to Everton today, particularly in the circumstances they've lost to Everton today, mm-hmm. because I think Albion certainly warranted a point today, um, as crazy as that is, sounds of a 5 2 loss. Um, but look, Chelsea, let's, let's hope they can do it again. Let's hope they can replicate this performance against Everton for the first 45 minutes, over 90 minutes, and get something from the game. But look, it's going to be immensely tough, isn't it, with the signings they made and the players they've got. But yeah, I mean, I think I think there's, t- today it's got to be, it's, it's got to try and take the positives forward because if they play like that mm. against teams that are going to finish in the bottom half, because let's be honest, Leicester 
Everton, Chelsea will all, will all probably be top six this season. If they play like that against teams in the second half, they will will get points. They will score goals and they will get points this season. Get yourself off home, mate. Get yourself Thanks, off. mate. Hot bath, hot bath. Get some chocolate on the way on the way back and a nice beer when you get when you get home. Run over, pal. Run over. Everton five, West Brom two for the post match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com. <laughs>